Popular actor and comedian Tracy Morgan's latest stand-up is blowing up into a major controversy and turning out to be no laughing matter. And now Morgan is apologizing. The comedian reportedly went on a vicious homophobic rant. Morgan, who is known to push the envelope for laughs, was performing in front of a packed house at Nashville's Ryman Auditorium. In the middle of the show, he launched into a scathing tirade about homosexuals. A photographer, Kevin Rogers, was in the audience and posted on Facebook some of the things that Morgan reportedly said. Uh, Kevin, we're going to get to you in just a moment. First, I want to revisit some of the statements that you said Morgan made during his stand-up. To be clear, we don't have a full transcript of Morgan's remarks. But Kevin posted at one point, Morgan said, quote, there is no way a woman could love and have sexual desire for another woman that's just a woman pretending because she hates an effing man. He went on to say if his son was gay, he better come home and talk to him like a man and not, and here he mimicked gay in a high-pitched voice, or he would pull out a knife and stab that little N-word to death. Morgan goes on saying, quote, he didn't effing care if he pissed off some gays. As many of you know, Morgan is on the cast of the popular NBC show 30 Rock. The irony is 30 Rock received an award from GLAAD, the Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation. Well, GLAAD is calling for Morgan's management to investigate these reports and issued this statement this morning. GLAAD's president says, should they prove true, we call on him to remove these violently anti-gay remarks from his show and send a strong message that anti-gay violence is not something to joke about. The Human Rights Campaign also issued a statement. If these allegations are true, Tracy Morgan must immediately accept responsibility and apologize. His employer, NBC Universal, also must come forward and condemn these atrocious comments. Now, I want to go back to Kevin Rogers. Kevin, you were in the audience there. You heard Tracy Morgan directly. What was your gut reaction? I, I was absolutely shocked um, and amazed at what I was hearing. Um, I knew that I was going to see uh, a comedian that, that, as you said, does push the envelope and was expecting to hear, you know, all sorts of different, um, probably inappropriate humor, but I, I didn't expect to uh, hear an attack on the gay community. As I mentioned, uh, Tracy Morgan has apologized, Kevin, so I want to read you uh, his statement. Uh, he says, I want to apologize to my fans and the gay and lesbian community for my choice of words at my recent stand-up act in Nashville. I'm not a hateful person and don't condone any kind of violence against others. While I am an equal opportunity jokester, my friends know what is in my heart. Even in a comedy club, this clearly went too far and was not funny in any context. What is your response to that? Is that apology enough? Um, I greatly appreciate his apology. Um, I only hope that it, it actually is genuine and that's how he feels. Um, and if that's the case and he shows uh, my community and his fans that he truly is sorry for those remarks and, and takes content like that from his show, then yeah, I, I greatly accept his apology. Uh, as you've said, uh, you, you certainly didn't expect Morgan's act to be clean, um, but when he said what he said about stabbing his son, uh, if he came home and told him that he was gay, how did that specific remark sit with you? Um, it had gotten to the point within the rant that I was actually a little numb to everything that was being said. I was still trying to process everything and and decide if if there was going to be a punchline somewhere or um, exactly what was I hearing. So to me, it, it really was just the entire thing really did um, hurt me. Mm -hmm. um, you know that, of course, the the violent aspect of that comment. I actually even thought uh, at a point, well, maybe he is at least joking about that. Not that that's something to joke about, but you know that that's pretty serious. And, and what was the audience response? Uh, were you able to notice if were people laughing? Were they booing? <clears throat> what what was the response? Um, as ashamed as I am for the Nashville audience, uh, there was actually a lot of applause um, during that and um, seemed to, with the except there were some people that weren't laughing or clapping and seemed to be sitting there in shock, but there were also a lot of people that just really, um, for lack of a better way of putting it, kind of hooted and hollered. And, mm. Did anyone uh, leave? Um, throughout his entire performance, there were times that we had noticed that people were leaving. 
um, you know, his performance includes a lot of comments right. about women and, and his belief in their place in the world. And, and what was so, his demeanor as he started this part of his act? Uh, did his demeanor change or was it the way it was throughout the whole show? Um, I could tell that it, it seemed to go from a joking demeanor to this is a point in my show to where I'm very serious about what I'm saying. It was very um, forthright. There wasn't, uh, dis didn't seem to be any joking involved at that point. It was just, here's my platform. You posted your feelings, uh, as I said, uh, on Facebook. You also tweeted about it, writing, uh, saw Tracy Morgan in Nashville last night, nothing but hate for the gays. That was what your tweet said. Uh, and then you also added, I was very saddened by this. Uh, what kind of response have you received online? Um, it's been um, kind of crazy. Um, I've received all sorts of support from people across um, the United States. Um, I, I've actually also received a little bit of um, hate, but uh, far, far outweighed by the uh, number of people that are supporting me and wanting to be my friend on Facebook. and. Um, just patting me on the back and saying thanks and that they really appreciated it. Um, so um, it's been overall positive, but I, I never expected on Friday that um, I was going to be on CNN today. I, I'm sure. Uh, and I know that before you came on CNN, you actually, uh, according to my producer, you had to actually uh, come out to your mom. Yeah. Um, I, I, it's something that I've we've never really discussed and I've always had a feeling that my family knew but I just wasn't comfortable having that discussion and then I, I knew that how things happen and um, Nashville is a large city but it's also a very small community in a way and I knew that at some point tonight I would be receiving a phone call from my mother saying um, somebody called me and saw you on CNN what's what's the deal so I thought you know this is a time that I'm really going to have to just step up and, and make that phone call and say, here, look, this is what's going to happen, and whatever you hear, here's the truth. And um, she's very supportive and um, was great, and uh, I, I love her and my dad very much for the way they've raised me. Well, Kevin, uh, thank you so much for sharing uh, not only your personal story uh, with us, but also uh, what you say happened uh, there in Nashville and uh, bringing that to our attention as well. And we certainly appreciate you coming on the show and talking about it. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so 